Imagine a new children's book captures what depression feels like in pictures. Dark Cloud follows Abigail, a young girl coping with depression. And as the name of the book suggests, it's visualized by a dark cloud that follows her around. Some days it's a ball of worries. Other days it's a swirl of fog or a long shadow. This is the second picture book written by Winnipeg author Anna Lazowski. She's also a producer here at CBC. Good morning, Anna. Good morning, Marcy. So I know I gave a a brief synopsis, but in your words, it's your book. Uh, What is Dark Cloud about? Well, I mean, it's it's what you said, but it really is meant to show what depression can look and feel like in a way that kids can understand. So that's why it was written really with those images, the visuals being really strongly in mind. It's a little bit of text to support it. So it's to, to help kids understand like what you feel like when you really love going to ballet class, but you feel like you want to stay home or you're at a birthday party and you feel very alone, even though you're supposed to be having fun. So it's these little images from life that kids can relate to so that they can understand what's happening. Now, you have a special kid in your life that uh, in many ways inspired the book, right? I do. Yeah. We went through something with my daughter where she was prescribed an allergy medicine. And, you know, you read through all the side effects and you kind of park it in the back of your mind somewhere. And what we didn't realize it was, you know, she started taking this medication and she started a new school year and a new school. So there was a lot of upheaval and she was a little bit nervous, which is kind of normal. But then over time, we saw that she really started to withdraw and her whole personality started to shift. And we realized, okay, this is something that's not just because of a new school year. And we eventually realized that it was a medication. So she was only on it for a little bit of time, but we did see like this dramatic and really kind of scary change in her personality. She became a completely different kid. Mm -hmm. So once we took her off that medication, it took about a year for her to come out of that. And it was so a lot of what we saw with her inspired what what you see in Penny Nebuli's illustrations in this beautifully (laughs) drawn book. What does uh, what does your daughter think of the book? Did uh, I wonder how you you know when you're thinking about the images responding you know kids responding to the images of this? Did you test it with her in the end, or did you kind of keep that private from her? Uh, she did. I think she did read it at one point. I mean, some of the images aren't necessarily exactly what happened with her, but because when I think about it, I can see moments that I had with her. A lot mm-hmm. of it is, is very much inspired by that. I think she's, I mean, I of course asked her if she minds if I talk about this because it's her experience. Of course. She's, she's excited to share this with people and she's really happy with the way it turned out. Can you speak to the importance of that? Uh, you know, the importance that children have a book on Ooh. depression? Yeah, it's really hard to talk about. And, you know, when you're going through something like this, when you're seeing these changes, like abstract topics like emotions and feelings can be really hard to put into words. Like kids know something is wrong. They don't know what it is or they're seeing it in other people. We know there's a strong family history of mental illnesses, things like depression, things like anxiety. And it can be this gives them a tool to talk about it so they can be looking through it with a parent and recognize the things that they're seeing in their life in these images in the book. And I think it's important because then it gives them the language to kind of be aware of what's happening. It gives them the opportunity to talk about it. I think if they talk about it, then it gives us as parents, as caregivers, as teachers, it gives us the opportunity to help. You mentioned uh, Penny Neville Lee, the uh, illustrator of Dark Cloud. Tell me a little bit about what that that was like, that working relationship and, um, you know, how important it was obviously to come up with with the right visuals that you thought would speak to kids. Yeah, well, it's interesting because what a lot of people don't know is with picture books, usually the writer writes it and then the the, uh, the team at the publishers finds the illustrator and you don't talk to them. So you don't have any interaction with them until the book is done. It's not really collaborative in the way that you might imagine. Um, but when I was after, you know, I wrote this this in January of 2020, so two months before the entire world shut down, it was sitting with an editor uh, at Kids Can Press while I was waiting to hear back, and I saw this beautiful image going by on Twitter of this little girl hugging a cloud, and I looked at it, and I'm like, oh my gosh, that's Abigail, <laughs> like that's the kid in the book. So I copied like the link to the tweet, stuck it somewhere, and when I knew that they were going to take the book and be looking for illustrators, I just said, would you mind just looking at this one, because I think there's something going on that's really special here, and hmm. you know, there's a lot of back and forth and all that that goes on, but then eventually they did agree that Penny was the best person to illustrate this book, and it's her first picture book, and it's like the work is unbelievable. <laughs> really elevates the text to a way that you can't even imagine when you're just kind of sitting alone writing it at home and imagining what it could look like. Um, But yeah, she really brought this story to life and with such care. And it's 
and this like moving of color that the book starts kind of gray and sort of somber. And then as we go through the journey with Abigail, little bits of color start to come in so that you can see that she figures out how to live with what's happening to her, but it doesn't control every part of her life anymore. So that's told with the text, but really enhanced by the visuals. Uh, the book is uh, available for purchase tomorrow, Anna, but uh, I understand that you already had a little bit of feedback. It's getting some buzz. What have you heard from people? Yeah, we're getting really good reviews from trade publications, which are important to make sure that the book ends up in libraries where kids can have access to it. But also a lot of early reviewers who are really relating to this and saying they'd wish they'd had a book like this when they were kids, so that they had the language to talk about it. And just that kind of connection to the material in a way that's, that's really been very moving already before it even comes out. What what uh, what's next for you? I mentioned this as you know you, you you've done a book before, but is this uh, do you already have in mind what what your next book might be? Yeah, I actually have another book um, that's scheduled to come out in 2025 because it takes a very long time to make a picture book. It's about two to three years uh, from the time it gets wow. acquired by yeah by a publisher. Usually, it comes down to the illustration, the printing, the shipping. You know, there's a lot of, of things that play with picture books, but. Um, yeah, I have another book coming out that's also this social emotional learning vein, and it's about, you know, loss and so much loss that we've all been through in, in the last few years. But it's a little, there's a bit of hope in this one, too, because it's it's about, you know, accepting the loss that you've experienced in your life and learning to make new memories. And it hasn't been announced yet, but it should be soon, but we don't have an illustrator yet. But I'm really excited to see what happens with that one, because I think it will be lovely as well. Well, thank you very much for coming on the show to tell us a bit about it today. I know you have your book launch coming up on the 11th. I'll uh, I'll talk a little bit more about that. And uh, good luck with your book. Thank you so much. That's Anna Lazowski, the author of Dark Cloud, which is available for purchase tomorrow, May 2nd. The official Winnipeg book launch, as I alluded to, is May 11th at McNally Robinson. It's at 7 o'clock. Thank you for watching the CBC Manitoba YouTube channel. And don't forget to like and subscribe. For the latest breaking news and top stories, download the CBC News app.